Alan, first of all, many congratulations. Try and describe the whirlwind 24 hours of experience. Thank you. Um, it's been absolutely manic. I didn't think it was going to blow up as much as what it did, but I've enjoyed every minute of it, and I can't wait to see what else holds. Has the press attention and everything to come with it, has that been more than you expected it would be? Yeah, definitely. Like I said, I didn't expect it to blow up this much. And during the game last night, if you were thinking about everything that came with it, do you think it would have added extra pressure to your performance? Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, when I played last night, I didn't think of like, making history or anything like that, so I didn't put extra pressure on myself. But if I'd have been thinking about it, I definitely would have been feeling a bit nervous. It must have been great having your family there to watch that moment of history as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they, I kept looking over and they kept like keeping me calm and all of that, so it was really good to like have them there to witness the history with me. And moving on now, you should play Mensa Sulevich next. That must be something great to look forward to, playing one of the best players in the world on the biggest stage in the world. Yeah, I'm really excited to play Mensa. I mean, I could only dream about playing one of the best men in the world, and I'm really excited to like play, play him Saturday, and I can't wait. And people talk about what this has done for women's darts. Do you think we'll see it, maybe not just now, but in the long term, we'll look back on this game as the pivotal moment in the change in women's darts? Um, I hope so. I hope I've done like women's darts proud, and I hope it just put like more like women's darts in the map and just giving it more recognition and stuff that we deserve, really. Paul, Sky Sports. Um, Fanon, you've kind of been described in various places today as, as a bit of a trailblazer. Does it feel that way? How, how has today been for you? I know it's been a bit crazy and all over the place. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, and we're going all over London, <laughs> going to different studios and everything. But I've loved every minute. It's been awesome. Um, in terms of the way the game has, has kind of progressed, the PBC have obviously always said that it's a, it's a level footing for everybody. Did it, did it feel like it up there because you had the crowd on your side and Ted was very much the bad guy up there? Um, I really appreciated the crowd like, last night. Um, it definitely helped my confidence and stuff like that. It helped me play like, how I could and I'm really happy that I got over the line. And what about Makura a couple of um, a couple of nights ago? Did you take did you take anything from that to, into that game because she obviously pushed um, James so far. Yeah, she did really well. I mean, she was one leg away. I mean, she definitely inspired me um, because Makura got so close. So I was like, I I always believed that I could do it, and the fact that she nearly did it definitely gave me more inspiration to do it. And we've obviously got a tournament here, but the future, as far as uh, Balan Cherik is concerned, I spoke to you yesterday, and you mentioned. You've spoken to your manager about Q school. Is uh, that very much on the cards? Even you have to get above a 90 average, though. Yeah, I've, I've got over a 90 average, so I'm going to Q school now. Thank you. Phil, live darts. Fallon, you obviously played in a world final as well. How did last night compare to the final at Lakeside? Uh, last night was like even more intense. Like, I loved last night. Um, I can't think of words how much I preferred playing last night than what I did in the final. I mean, last night meant more to me personally. Did you ever thought the world final you could beat that feeling? No. And then literally last night, definitely like it beat that feeling like ten times over. I mean, I made history. I mean, I could only dream about doing that. As well, I know you were over the moon to get your blue tick on Twitter. What did that mean to you? <laughs> well, I've always wanted a blue tick, and I kept asking, like, my manager, how do I get it? How do I get it? How do I get it? And, like, when they showed me that it just appeared on my Twitter earlier, I was like, over the moon, like, I was gobsmacked. I, I was like, I wouldn't jump up and down. <laughs> Kev, Austrian radio. Okay. What's your opinion about Mensa Sulevic and all the things he achieved in the last four or five years? He came really from nowhere. Um, like I think what he's achieved is great. Um, I don't really know much about him, but I watched him on TV, so I can only assume how he's going to play. So that's why I'm just going to look forward to the Saturday. Do you think it could be a problem that his rhythm can change throughout a match? Um, I don't. I don't think it's going to be a problem. I mean, I just play my own game, and I mean, whatever he does, he does. Like, it's not going to affect me. Last question: uh, Did you met him before, or have had some experience with him before? No, never. I've never met him before, so I'm really excited to meet him. Okay, guys, we're going to give the newspapers some time in a minute, but if there's anyone else who, I know there's a couple of people who just turned up late, so if you have any more questions in front of the cameras, let's get them out now. So, any more for any more? Yeah, cool. Straight into another. Matt, from a quick word from you, um, obviously the TDC 12 months ago gave 
women the opportunity yeah. to get here and it's opportunity taken. What, what does it do to the sport? Yeah, I mean, this was the idea, wasn't it? It wasn't to put women up there as cannon fodder, it was to put them up there because we knew that they could compete on, on, this, on a level footing. Uh, so Fallon proved that last night, but to be fair, the other ladies who played in the last, uh, Mikuru uh, um, earlier this week and then Lisa and Anastasia who played last, last year proved that as well. So it wasn't a surprise to us. Obviously at some point a woman was going to win a match and it was great that it was Fallon in the manner that she did the other night and, and what an opportunity now for, for her to progress in, in this tournament. And what about yourselves and, and women's darts? Is it, is it something you consider taking? Taking forward, taking well, elsewhere. We've always been uh, open. All, all our all our tournaments are open to men and women here in the UK and around the world. So it's, it's never something that we've pigeonholed before, like like men's darts and, mm -hmm. and women's darts. But we're living in changing times, um, and we're seeing the reaction to to what happened last night today. We're seeing the groundswell of positivity and the support that Fallon and, and the other women who played on the stage have attracted. So we're, we're a, a, a relatively young sports body who's constantly evolving and we're always assessing our position in every aspect of the game. So this will be something that we'll sit down and, and learn from, something that we'll react to, something that we'll take forward. I think generally what we've done for darts over the last generation has, has, has worked and been progressive. And this is something else that we can harness and, and, and use to take the game forward. So I can't sit here and say, yes, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. But I can say that it's something that we've certainly you know, been been very aware of, yeah. uh, something that we're, we're very pleased to be a, a small part of and something that we, we want to use for the good of the game in the future. And I think that's where the kind of question was born from, you know, it's well documented that PDC took a chance a very long time ago and, and this is where we are now and maybe the time's right to take another chance. Yeah, I mean, you know, we are living in changing times in the sports world, it's not just darts but plenty of other sports are, are seeing the, the, the women's game being furthered and, and progressed. So. It's, it's only right that if we've got players who are capable of playing at the, at the elite level, that we use that for the, for the overall good of the sport. And we want to give more women dark players opportunities to go and do what Fallon did last night. So, you know, let's, let's look and see what, what has happened and what we think we can do to, to keep that snowball gathering momentum. OK, guys, anyone else video or audio before we move on to the just, papers? Just a quick one, Fallon. What do you think this means for the everybody back at the Wing Sports Social Club in Leighton Buzz, you know, a place you know very, very well? Uh, they're going to be over the moon. I'm, I'm not surprised with my pit train up when I get over. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a small social club, so the fact that, that I practice there, it's just going to make them like, really happy. Yeah, well done.